Good draw. Cool, this is Wolf of Voices here. If you're wondering why I'm being a professional in eating during a review of the trash, flash, trash, it's because this episode was an eternal waste of time. Nothing happened at all. So, if the show doesn't give a fuck, why should I, right? You gonna sit here and see me snack and schmack all my chips while we go through this garbage episode. Because why should I put effort into my reviews if the showrunner and the writers, producers, executive producers, interns, the interns that suck the dick of the interns and executive producers, the nigga that gets the donuts and coffee in the morning and God himself do not give a flying fuck of what they put in this show, why should I? This episode was complete fucking hot ass, y'all. Again, listen, I don't care. This shit broke me already. I'm done. <coughs> ah! All right. Ah. So, hold on. One more bite. All right, we're done. All right, let's go. Let's go. So, episode begins with Snow. They gave her like a real name later. It's called like Cork, Cork or whatever the fuck. I don't care. I'm going to call her Elsa. Let's call her Elsa. So, Chestnut with this fucked up hairline. And everyone starts uh, talking to Snow. I mean, Elsa. And they're like, okay, where's Caitlyn? And then the homie says, oh yeah, Caitlyn's dead. So the trash, <laughs> I'm calling him trash, the trash from now on. So the trash starts eyeing him down like, what do you mean Caitlyn's dead? So, oh yeah, well, we, I put her in this dumbass machine. And yeah, her memory got wiped. So yeah, Caitlyn as a personality is dead. So he's like, huh? So yeah, but if we put her in this new machine, Caitlyn and Frost will come back. No, he said just Caitlyn will come back. So of course, Barry's like, uh, I don't know, bro. You, you seem sketch. Just so this random ass, I didn't watch the last season, nor will I ever. I didn't watch season seven or eight. I just watched a bit of season six. Just the blood work stuff. Who the fuck is this white nigga? He said like he's a rogue or whatever, so we just letting rogues and people just slide him in the goddamn Star Labs. Okay. The goddamn Chestnut. <laughs> so like, his name is Chester, but she calls him Chuck. So is it Chuck? Is it Chester? That's why I call him Chestnut, because the writers can't get the name of this nigga right. So, Allegra is so beautiful. She a baddie. So they're like, all right, whatever, we'll believe you. Iris is thick, by the way. Uh, we, I'm gonna show y'all why. So long ass intro, they start talking, he starts explaining to him the shit I just explained to you. Hairline. Um, and so like, this is all a trick because what I'm gonna call him Cracker. So Cracker um, is using snow to trick Team Flash to bring back frost because she is like a new person like she's in personality wiped or whatever i don't fucking care so allegra and chestnut start to talk as you know last episode they almost fucked because they thought they were gonna die so she started to fuck him but they didn't die so it's all awkward the nigga ain't got no riz hairline and then uh <laughs> um she blows him off Yep. And then Joe starts like, we are literally four minutes in the episode and everything people are crying. He starts crying. She starts crying. Everybody's crying. Why? Is it because it's raining? What well, do black people get emotional when it's raining? Ugh. Goddamn nigga, the rain. No. What the fuck is happening? And he says, I don't want you to. We should leave Central City because. Since your power is growing, you're gonna be a target, and I don't want you to die. You're the mother of my children. You're my wife. I love you. Get the fuck out of here. 
Well, I don't care. Okay, he's old, so I'll let his hairline go. He's old, man. He's like 60 or 50, and I love my nigga Joe. I'm not finna disrespect Joe like that. Hairline, I'm not finna disrespect him like that. So, stupid, worthless scene. There's a lot of scenes in this episode that are fucking worthless. All right? So, they explain that Barry destroyed Caitlyn's lab, but she obviously killed her with this. I mean, obviously she didn't, but he literally left out, let out a mini nuke in a room with Caitlyn in it. How the fuck did she not die? I don't know. So he destroyed her lab. She was trying to bring back Frost. I, I don't know. I guess Frost was a different person. Don't care. But he destroyed the lab because she became too obsessed over it. We go to Gay Nigga. Um, gay Nigga's in outer space. So, God. We know what's, you know what's funny? It, it's so forced. It's out of nowhere. Who is this character? I forgot who he was until I remembered. Oh! He's from season one. He is the best character in the episode. The CW has finally written a decent gay character. He is actually really funny in this episode. And he says shit that I've been thinking about. So this is his husband. And then this weirdo bitch comes through looking like an albino Rastafarian with the fucking hoodie on. You know those damn niggas from Matrix Reloaded with the dreads that went invisible and stuff? She looked just like him. So she has this little accordion that when she starts playing music on it, sonic vibrations come from it. She almost kills dude, and then he runs away. Pretty much. Like, she almost kills him. What? And then her name is The Fiddler, so I call her The Kitty Fiddler. <laughs> or The Filler! Because that's what all this episode is. It's a giant, big, fucking waste of my time. Oh my god, she looks horrible and her acting is cringe. They go back to it. They stick her in the machine and attempt to bring back Frost, but it doesn't work. Because reasons, too many tack-ons and the multiversal equations, bullshit, whatever. And then it's revealed that he's just trying to bring back Frost and not Caitlyn. And that he wants to memory wipe her or whatever and put Frost in there. Gay dude comes through. I'm gonna call him um, Inclusion, cause it's the CW. All right, hold on. There's 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 Taco Bell sauce on my PC, cause I was eating Taco Bell earlier, and I guess the damn juice, not the juice, the sauce must have squirted all onto my monitor. Oh shit, nigga. Uh, um. Uh, totally legit website. Again, I'm not putting any effort to this review. I don't know why y'all came here. I mean, this episode put no fucking effort into its plot. So, what I leave off at? I forgot. I like Hartley, by the way. Him being gay has something to do with this character, actually. He's a great character. He's the funniest nigga in the show. So, he, he literally just pulls up and just forces Barry to help him. Like, nigga, save my life. He's like, huh? Nigga, save my life. I need Caitlyn. Uh, she's dead. Okay, well, get this bracelet and then attach it to my arm. So I'm like, okay, why do you need Caitlyn if all you needed was a bracelet attached to your arm to, hit, to save you? But okay. So he says, a meta bitch is hunting me and she wants my ass. So Barry and Iris say stupid shit. And then we meet the uh, red death black bat woman. Black woman. Evil black woman. Um... You know, the black woman that killed her homie the last episode? Yeah, that one. Talks with the kitty fiddler, the filler, and then boom. So, Cracker is drinking whatever, jizz, horse jizz. The trash talks to him, and then, like, he friendship, no jitsus him, and then they fuck off. This is the jizz. So, who is this? Iris got cake. Iris looking good. Hey, Iris was looking thick. Boy, look what I got down. Oh, I got down. Ooh, wee. Jesus. She may look old in the face, but she's still beautiful. So Chestnut and all of them start conversating about what? Don't give a fuck. And then we have the worst scene in the episode. She literally talks to him for like fucking five minutes straight. And she talks like this. Stating the obvious. 
So he starts talking to him and said, okay, are you Caitlyn? No. Do you have Caitlyn's intelligence about medical stuff? No. Then why the fuck are you here? You can't help me with anything. I know, I don't care. Fuck off. That's pretty much what happens in this scene. Like this scene goes on and on and on and on and on and on. It was irritating. It was fucking horrible. They could have easily cut this scene like 90% of the scene would have been okay. The gist of the scene is this. She talks to Harley to see if he's okay. He's not okay. Why? Because his husband and his friends are in danger. And she tells him to not kill the person who he's going after to save the people he cares about. And that there's another way. That's it. But this scene goes on and on. And the actress speaks like this the whole time. And it's a total fucking airhead. I hated this scene dog shit it's still going and then we finally go to Barry and Iris so they realize that they can only save Caitlyn or Frost if they stick uh, Elsa back in the machine I know this shit makes no sense just just follow me I don't feel like explaining it so the dad like created Caitlyn and Frost and then merged them into one body or whatever I don't fucking know we're ignoring that it, it's stupid so uh, everyone votes on who should they save, Caitlyn or Frost, right? The majority votes Frost. So then he asks Barry. Barry doesn't know. He said, what the fuck do you mean you don't know? Just vote Frost and we get Frost back. Hell, even if you don't vote Frost, we'll still be in the majority. Caitlyn's gone, bro. We're bringing Frost back. So then he fucks off to figure out. And then Iris is in literally in scenes that she is does not need to be in. Almost every scene in this episode does not fucking need Iris. They just shoehorn the actress in there because they're paying her a lot of money. So fuck it. Iris does not need to be in this entire episode at all whatsoever. I'm serious. Iris is pretty much useless to the plot. I can't wait to get back to play my Xbox, bro. I can't wait. Like, dead ass. I need to play my Xbox. So she talks to Barry, and Barry comes to realization. Wait a minute, let's just make Elsa make her own fucking decision. Then she has a shitty scene with Cecile. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see if I could. Let's see if I could do something. Yeah. This is Joe W. Joe was a Joe. She. Yeah. That's that's my boy Joe. They have a shitty, boring scene. The Lily, I can't believe they just got the actress and put blue streaks in her hair. This is so fucking lazy. So they talk to her and they just tell her, yeah, just make your own decision whether or not you want to be Caitlyn, Frost, or yourself. Mind you, we are 30 minutes in this episode and we have not seen the Flash once. Where is the Flash? Where are you, the Flash? Where are you? What, is he fucking up the timeline again? No, he's just not doing anything this episode. This show was called The Flash, but he had Chestnut in his hairline. Chestnut's fucked up pushback hairline has more screen time than The Flash. Sorry, The Trash. The, the Kitty Fiddler, The Filler, has more screen time than The Flash. I'm not talking about Barry, I mean the Flash, like Barry in his suit. The K Kitty Fiddler, the filler, has more screen time. So she kills them all, except that she doesn't. Barry comes through, shoots lightning at her back, blows her, bla blows her back out. And then she says, hey, you got rid of my accordion, but I don't need it to kill you. And she uses the sonic devices to beat him. Hartley shoots her with the sonic blast is about to kill her and then flash of course the hero got don't kill her there's another way he said nigga she killed my husband she, she no she's dying she killed the love of my life i'm like yeah hartley kill that bitch so no so they phase to another dimension to where the people are still alive <laughs> how does barry have this ability i don't fucking know nor do i give a fuck so, Barry, mind you, when he shot the lightning at her back, could have easily ran to Hartley, phased him into this dimension, saved them all, phased them back, 
and beat the bad guy in open over. But no, they had to waste five minutes of my damn time. So they save them all. Whoop de doo. They beat the bad girl. Whatever. So he gets pissed because Snow chooses to be herself. Because, yeah, why wouldn't I want to be myself? I don't blame her. Cause they made her make her own decision. He gets pissed off. He was going to force her to get back in the fucking chamber. And then Harley says, I'm done with this stupid, retarded episode. End this. End my life. Please kill me. Kill me, God. Kill me. Give me the sweet release of death. And he destroys the dumbass pod. Thank you, Hartley. Thank you, CW. You have written a decent gay character. He is the best character in the whole episode. Thank you. CW Ryers can't write nobody fucking else in this episode besides Hartley. But at least I found solace in this character and his realism. So Hartley likes the new Snow and he's like, you're my friend now our friendship he gets mad he said nigga next time i see you you dead i'm gonna fold you tombstone pile driver fuck you nigga bye so instead of stopping him since he will become a villain they just let him go so he just threatened your life hartley and you're gonna let that nigga go sorry you throw hands right now left right uppercut down beat say goodbye so they literally stand like this for 10 seconds straight this is team flash the director probably said, hey, act like you just heard someone in the group fart and you found out who it was and now you're just staring at him. It's pretty much what this is. It's stupid. So they start talking. Well, the episode's over. We need to pad out more time. I don't care. I'm checked out at this point. If you watch my Twitch stream. So I was like, what the fuck are we going to do for the weekend? And they have the worst scene in the whole episode. Second worst. They start doing, they literally have a dumbass, retarded rave dance scene. Chestnut, hairline, hairline is back. Hairline, you can't escape the hairline. So this part was funny, right? So they're doing their dumbass, stupid dances. This is my, I watch it on, it, this happens, right? It's cringy as fuck and it's weird. Look, ugh, God, what the fuck am I watching? So, look, look. Horrible. What the fuck is going on? And then Joe pulls up. <laughs> Yo, Joe. Joe is like, what in the hell is this trash? Look, look. <laughs> Joe. Joe is me, bro. Dead ass. Joe is like, what the fuck? fuck am i witnessing on set that's the actor's true reaction i bet you i bet you he was watching his cast members dance like idiots like fishes with their head cut off and he's like uh no nah. <laughs> hey, joe is me this nigga joe joe look at joe joe is like oh hell no i'm too old for this joe joe's an og okay no Yo, this is me, bro. Bro, Joe's an OG, bro. That nigga, nah. He's like, ah, oh, hell no. So Chestnut is chilling by himself. A uh, hairline. Um, and then uh, his Latina thought pulls up. And then he says, I'm going to give you some hot Cheetos and some horchata. She's like, ooh, gracias, mi amor. Mucho grande chocolate verga. And they start dancing. Uh, and he says, I'm going to tap them nalgas tonight. And she was like, ooh, um... More dumbass dancing. They kiss. I didn't even see this part. I actually skipped over it. Um, so, black nigga Batwoman, Red Death Black Woman, gets freed from her prison and then says, Flash, you wronged me, so I'm going to kill everybody in the city. And so, just going and killing the Flash, you decide to kill innocents. And sweet, the sweet release of death. Oh, my God. <laughs> the sweet release of death couldn't save me and we end off with this shitty ass suit at the end credit scene iris dead ass says hey my husband barry allen is the flash so she exposed her husband so everyone in the city knows he's the flash lord save me when she actually starts to affect the main plot because there is no plot this episode was dog shit zero out of ten this shit is is horrendous nothing happened nothing 
There was no effort. Just nothing. Nothing. This is horrendous. I'm tired as fuck. If you wonder why I'm acting delirious, I'm just, I'm just tired, bro. This episode was complete trash. This is the worst episode yet, and I'm not fucking with you. Again, like, subscribe, uh, main channel, secondary channel, Garolicious. I do slightly different stuff, reactions and all that bullshit. Um, follow my Twitch. We do walks alongs. I'm done. Fuck this trash. Fuck this episode, bro.